Welcome to Inside the Line with Marco D'Angelo. I am Marco D'Angelo and I'm going to preview some college and NFL games for you for this weekend. Last week we had a great week. We gave you four plays that I actually had plays on for you. We hit three out of four and I gave you an opinion with some inside information and that opinion got the money as well. So let's see if we can pick up four more plays this week. Let's try to go 4-0 with the free picks. And folks, I'm having a great run this year in college football. Off to a 10-4 start. I did have a play on Friday night. We had a tough luck loss with Nevada. Nevada had an opportunity early in the second half, fumbling the ball inside the Missouri 5. That cost us the point spread, but hey, that's why they call it gambling. I'll take 10-4 any day of the week. We're currently ranked number four in the country by the Sports Monitor with our college plays. Now, let's get right into some winners for Saturday. Very interesting ball game on Saturday with Washington traveling to Stanford. Now, a lot of people are on the Stanford side in this game as people are expecting Washington to be flat after that big upset of Southern Cal last week. And that is the proper thinking. You would have to expect Washington to be flat. But that's not where I'm going to come with this game. What I'm going to look at is the total. Last week, Washington played a great defensive game. It was a low-scoring game. And don't forget that Southern Cal was starting their backup quarterback last week as Barkley was hurt the week before. This week... Washington will not have that same defensive intensity. And Stanford doesn't have a good defense either. So what does that spell? Well, if you're expecting a Washington letdown, and I think you're going to see more of the letdown on the defensive side of the ball, I'm going to look to a wide-open Pac-10 game where both teams are going to go up and down the field. Both teams have good quarterbacks. They can engineer quick scoring drives. I see both teams scoring in the 30s. Vegas has this number at 54 right now. I'm going to go over the total in this game. Take the over, Washington-Stanford. Also on Saturday, there's an early game, 12 o'clock Eastern start. Buffalo travels into Temple. Now, last year, Buffalo was a darling team. They were getting the money point spread-wise. Turner Gill, the uh, coach there at Buffalo, turned that program around. This year, not as successful Buffalo. They're going to go in and play a Temple team that I like on Saturday. Temple will dominate Buffalo this week. And this is one of those games where over 70% of the betting public has been coming in on the Buffalo side. So you would expect the line to drop in this game as Buffalo is the underdog. But even with over 70% of the money coming in on Buffalo, Temple line has been going up. And that tells me that the Sharps here in town, the big bettors, are taking the Temple side. And I agree with that side. I like Temple. The line went from 2.5 three, now three and a half, and for them to move it through that key number of three, there's a lot of sharp money on the Temple side, and it'll have my money as well. Let's go with Temple. I have them winning this game 24 to 13 as another free pick. Also on the Saturday card, we're going to take a look at the UNLV Wyoming game. UNLV, I think, is a vastly underrated team. Now, people are going to look and say they barely won last week. They were uh, minus 7 and only win by 1 over Hawaii, 34-33. Forget about that thinking. Last week was a bad spot scheduling-wise for the UNLV running Rebels. They were coming off a heartbreaking loss the week before to Oregon State, a Pac-10 team, and they had them beat. Oregon State came back and kicked the last second field goal to beat UNLV. UNLV couldn't help but to come out flat last week, and even in a flat effort, they were able to manage the win. 
They go out on the road this week. You'll see focus from UNLV. It's their first road game. They started the season with three straight home games. They'll be focused. Wyoming's returning home. And Wyoming was not able to put a single point on the board last week against a Colorado team that had looked like Swiss cheese in the previous weeks. Wyoming's got problems. We gave you Colorado last week. Expect this game. Easy win for UNLV. I'm going to lay the three and a half, take UNLV. Before I get to that NFL free pick, I want to tell you I am going to be releasing a triple dime play on the Saturday card in college football. Don't miss out on this big triple dime play. I've got a game I love on Saturday. As I said, we're 10 and 4 so far this year in college football. Join me Saturday. You'll be able to pick up that play and all of my plays. $35 for the package on Saturday. Well worth it. You know what we've been doing in college football. Hope you join me on Saturday. Your free pro pick for Sunday, take the Denver Broncos. Yes, this team's 2-0. Nobody expected them to be 2-0. And nobody's given them any respect because the two wins were against Cincinnati and Cleveland. This team is underrated. They will win on Sunday against Oakland. Grab the Broncos while they're still value. This team's not a playoff team, but they are not as bad as most people thought they would be this year. There is still value with them. Take Denver. I have them winning the game 23-13 to on Sunday over the Raiders. This has been Inside the Line with Marco D'Angelo each and every week during the football season. I'll be bringing you free picks as I break the games down. I want to help to make you a better handicapper and have you cash some winning tickets. Enjoy the Saturday games. I hope you get to join me with my plays on Saturday. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week here on Inside the Line.